Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Question of the day. Do I cut one or do I not? Stay tuned. All right, guys. So before I cut one this morning, uh, let's talk about buying me a coffee. Uh, for all of you who've bought me a coffee, thank you so much for keeping me awake the last couple of months. I've definitely needed it. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I drink one small black coffee every morning, uh, just like this one. And if you want to keep me running, revving up every morning with my caffeine fix, uh, you can buy me a coffee. And the site is buy me a coffee backslash tennis spin. Link is below. Thank you in advance. All right, guys. So, uh, hold on. I need some caffeine for a second. All right. What am I talking about when I say cutting one? Not that cutting one. I'm talking about a racket. Okay. Although I do. Um, okay. That's a different subject. All right. So the question is from Via, Via Kozlov. Via Kozlov. Um, hello, dear. It says, it says, hello, dear. Okay. Hello, hun. Um, I've got a Yonex V Core 98 plus racket, and I think I need not the plus, but standard length. Please advise, can I cut the difference from the handle? Will it be the same? Um, so, I've actually done this before in the past with my own racket. Back in the day of the long bodies from Dunlop, um, I played with Dunlop long bodies. It's been 20 years or more now. And every, remember those days when everything was longer, right? Longer was better, right? One inch, half an inch, two inch, three inch. I mean, people were just going crazy with the lengths. And like the big Bubba was like literally five inches longer, like 32 inch racket on a 137 head. Like, how do you even play with that? I tried. It was like catching butterflies, man. It was like so much uh, length and so much racket to get through. It was ridiculous. But that was the day of the super long rackets. So I played with a plus one from Dunlop. Uh, 100 square inch head. It kind of had this yonic shape, if you guys remember. Um, those things are long gone. I don't even see those anywhere any, anymore. Um, but again, 20 years ago. So it was an inch longer. So I was like playing with it. And I'm like, man, this will probably play a lot better if it was standard length. I can probably get around the ball a little bit better, right? So I stripped the grip down. I took it to my buddy's um, shop. He had a, a machine shop. Uh, he worked on, you know, stereo equipment and cars. So I was like, hey, can you cut uh, an inch off of this? So we put it on his table saw and then we like, pew, we cut literally one inch off of the racket. Pop the butt cap off, cut the inch off the racket. I popped the butt cap back on, um, put a grip on and when I started hitting with it, it literally felt horrible. Uh, it felt like I cut the spine off the racket. The flex was thrown way off. It had zero power. Um, it felt like a kid's racket, to tell you the truth. It felt like I was playing with a 26-inch racket. The power, literally gone. Flex, gone. Um everything gone. It was just horrible at that point. I pretty much gave up on the racket. Um, I did try to string it lower just to buy myself some power. And that, that was a huge fail. It, it didn't work either. So I'm, I pretty much had to scrap the racket. I, I think I donated it to Goodwill after, uh, after that. But, um, advice to you don't cut rackets um like i i know that a bunch of you have asked about making them longer um and i think there are ways to do that 
I think that'll be easier and, and make the racket play a little bit better. But when you cut some, cut an inch off of the racket or cut half an inch off this racket, you actually alter the whole racket because when it was made, you know, that half inch longer, it's balanced, it's weighted, it's flexed a certain way uh, in to make the racket play better. So you're basically altering the whole racket by cutting half an inch off of it. So my advice to you, unfortunately, is probably try to sell the plus and just buy a regular. Um, or if you can, <clears throat> excuse me, buy a regular, play with it, and see if you miss the plus. Um, but in this case though, we're only talking half an inch. Um, unless you hold it like me, which is kind of kind of butt cap in the palm um, and using every inch of the racket, if you do this, right, if you can hold it a little taller, you basically just negated that half inch right there. So I, I don't know how you hold it, but if you hold it just like that, just a little bit um, higher in the grip, you just negated it. Um, but I don't know if you can do that though. It's everybody is pretty particular about how they hold the racket. Okay. So never cut. Don't cut. You can cut one, but don't cut a racket. Okay. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.